Honestly, I didn't use Pyrevit before that much unless for creating patterns. But since I saw a lot of you guys are like me and don't know that much about Pyrevit, I decided to do a little research and I checked all of these tools and options in here. I actually found out a lot of interesting and amazing tools that we can use in daily basis. So in this video, we are going to talk about 7 most helpful tools that I found in Pyrevit. Let's start. Tool number one is this tab coloring. We can use it when we have a lot of projects on in this Revit or when we have nested families. One of the most recent nested family that I talked about is these coins. So for example, if I select one, I can go to its edit family. And in here, if I select it again, I can go to its family again and we have another one in this part too and this is the final family that we started from well imagine if you have like one or two views for each of these families something like this will happen so in this case it will be so hard to find the right view for your families but if you turn this on you can simply find the families or views with these colors so now i know these two front and back views are for this family or this right view is for this family in here i mean this way it's very easier and you can save a lot of time for searching these views together you can also change the color so go to pyravit in this part and to setting under ui ux section you can check this colorize open document and in this part you will have two different sections one of them is for project and this part is for families if you open this part you can see these different options we have top bar which is something like this there will be a thin or like medium or heavy or heavier line above your bar then we have these borders with different line weight and you can see it's example like this. Then we have the background fill that fills the background of bars like this. You can also change the colors with this icon. You can delete them. For example, let's say we want to delete this one. Select it and click on this part or this black color in here. And if you want, you can add the color that you want again. So I'm going to add something like this. If you want, you can reset these colors too. I'm going to set this project tab style on border medium and the same for these families. Then you can simply save setting and reload. This was a really big challenge for me to find the right view for right family or project. I can simply turn this on and see the related views to each other. So if you want to add it to your quick access toolbar, you just need to right click and add it to quick access toolbar. Click on this part. The second tool is this importer. This is useful when you imported a 2D plan or documents for like section or elevation to your project and you are done with working on that level and you need to delete or hide it. I used to select the plan, right click and use hide in view. So in this case, if I need to check something real quick, I needed to go to reveal hidden element Select it again and unhide it. Well, when you're focused and you need to find the information real quick, this is really annoying. So with this importer in this part, you can just like simply turn it on and off real quick and it will save a lot of time for you. The third tool is this section box. Let's test it on these furnitures in here. I'm going to select these and put them on a section box. Let's say we want to export these furnitures as an image or maybe you need to add information about a corner of your project and you don't want to see these lines in here. If you want to hide these, you need to select it, right click and hide it from this part. And again, if you need them back, you need to go to reveal hidden element and unhide them but it's actually a little bit frustrating since we might need to adjust the section box to find the right view or hide or delete something 
So with this icon in here, you can turn it on or off and then adjust, add or delete things from your section box. So the next tool that I am not going to talk about because I have created a full tutorial about it and I have talked about three beautiful patterns is the make pattern. So I'm going to put it in cards in top right corner. If you're interested, go check it out. And also before we continue with the next tool, I'm going to ask you to like and subscribe this video if this was helpful for you until now. And also because this channel is full of super helpful tutorials about Revit and there are a lot more coming up. So please like and subscribe. So tool number four is this pick. If you click on it, you can find all of these categories that you can select. For example, let's say we need these generic models. I'm going to select it and then if I select these views, you can see that only generic models are selected. If you need any category, any element that is not in this part, you need to go back and Press shift and then click on this icon. This way you will have a window that you can select between all of these elements. For example, let's say we need a rebar. I'm going to check this structural rebar and then apply. Now let's go to this project and then we need to click on this part again and then select the rebar, structural rebars. Now if I select all of these parts, the only selected elements are the rebars. This tool is kind of like filter, however we have a filter in this part. If you select it, you can see options in this part. Check it yourself, we have a lot of useful options in this part too, for example this discard pinned element or group element. I suggest test and work with these tools at least once so you know how they work in case of emergencies. The next tool is in modify section and in this 3D part. If you open it, we will have two options in here. Orient view to face and orient section box to face. Let's test this one. If you look at this project from the plan view, you can see that it's kind of rotated. If you want to work on one of these sides in 3D view, we could use these cube in here. We can go to front, back, bottom, and different sides. We can also go to isometric views. But since this plan is kind of rotated, we can't do it. Instead, we can go to 3D view and click on this orient view to face. Then if you click on one of the views, for example, this part, you will see it exactly like it is. Then you can set your work plan on this view and simply work on it. You can do the same for section views to just put the part that you want in a section box and then click on this orient section box to face and after that select the face that you want the next tool is about the legends so if you go to view tab in this part you can create a new legend for your project and then if you go to annotate from this component part you can add legend components in here from this part you can select the families in your project let's go with this window in here from this part you can select if you want to see it from plan or from one of these sides i'm going to first put it in this part and then change it to front view and put it exactly in here but what if we want to add a 3d view of this family of this model to our legend too we can add it manually to the sheet or to photoshop but it has a long path so to make it easier we can go to pyrevit and in this legend section we can select this set legend component to 3d orientation make sure that you select the legend i'm going to copy it to this part select the legend and then if you click on this icon in here you can see it in 3d view other than these views you can also set them on all of these different orientations too the last and most interesting tool is in override section 
it can highlight or bold elements that you need so i'm going to select the elements that i want to highlight for example these trees then i'm going to pirate it and in this part i will select override vg visibility and graphics in here you can change the color or line pattern of these elements i'm going to select this part and then they will turn into that color then we can switch to hidden line and use this view for exporting this image or for presentation the idea or the concept that we have the other way of doing this is to go to view tab and the visibility and graphic then you can select the category that you want and you can change the lines pattern and transparency in projection or when they have cuts well i think it's smoother and faster with pyravid let me say that this video was not sponsored by pyravid i just found these cool tools and i thought i should share them with you i hope it was helpful for you and thanks for watching bye